Historians agree there's no question but that a Danish, Danish victory, Ethan did, would have completely eradicated English. It would have become relegated to being one of many hundreds of the world's forgotten and no longer spoken languages lost to history. But today, English is the most spoken language in the world with a combined native and non-native uh, 1.2 billion speakers. You can go to any big city in the world today and find a lot of people speak English. English is taught to all students in secondary schools throughout Russia, China, India, Japan, Europe, and many other places around the world. English has become the world's second language. It is the language of international conferences. Uh, the International Civil Aviation Organization, which controls the skies, mandates that English is required to be spoken in every airplane in the sky all over the world. If you're a Russian airplane over Moscow, speaking to other Russian airplanes or the Russian tower, you have to speak to them in English. English is the language of computers. It's required language, required of all contracts and business agreements and the 27 nations of the European Union. So now you can see why the Battle of Ethandun was such a crucial hinge point in history. 